What is bovine TB? Bovine tuberculosis, also known as bovine TB or BTB, is a potentially fatal infectious disease of cattle caused by bacteria called Mycobacterium bovis or M. bovis. Bovine TB is spread by inhaling or eating the M. bovis bacteria. This results in abscesses, such as in the lungs or other parts of the body, which in turn produce and spread more bacteria. However, the way in which the disease develops can vary. It can also be hard to detect at first, because the bacteria itself is covered in a waxy coat and grows very slowly. Although bovine TB is known as a disease of cattle, it can also affect other animals. High levels of M. bovis infection can spread to animals such as deer, goats, alpacas, pigs, sheep, and even cats, although these animals play little part in spreading the infection to cattle. In the parts of England where there are high levels of bovine TB, we often find that badgers are significant carriers of the M. bovis bacteria. As well as spreading between badgers, the bacteria can spread from badgers to cattle and vice versa. Animal transport can also spread bovine TB over long distances. Human infection is possible, but since the introduction of milk pasteurisation, the number of human cases has dropped dramatically, from 50,000 per year in the 1930s to around 30 cases per year today. Why do we need to control bovine TB? In 2011, the UK's beef and dairy export markets were valued at £1.7 billion. However, over the last three decades, the level of bovine TB has increased significantly, from around 200 cases to 30,000, and spread to new areas of England. The UK now has the highest level of bovine TB in the EU while Scotland and many other EU countries are officially bovine TB free. The disease and the measures applied to control it have significant social and economic impacts, disrupting trade in cattle, meat and milk, and threatening the financial sustainability of the livestock farming sector. For these reasons, and to protect the public's health, there are legal controls in place, including those at EU level. We are required by law to have a programme for accelerating eradication of bovine TB. Achieving bovine TB free status for England would reduce the cost of controlling the disease, which are currently around £100 million per year to the taxpayer and tens of millions per year to the farming sector. Leaving bovine TB uncontrolled would increase the risk of spread to other animals and to humans, with impacts on health and welfare, further restricting our ability to trade on the international market, and bring us in breach of legal obligations. How do we control bovine TB? There's currently a comprehensive set of measures applied to control bovine TB, including looking for bovine TB by routinely testing healthy animals and inspecting carcasses at the abattoir, testing in areas of bovine TB outbreak, restricting herd movements, and removing infected animals. And we're starting to tackle infection in badgers, including vaccination and culling. Looking ahead, the government has recently consulted on a draft strategy for England to become bovine TB free in 25 years. This builds on the existing measures and includes the following elements developing newer methods for controlling the badger population, such as contraception, and better diagnostic tests and vaccines for badgers and cattle. Allowing access to the bovine TB history of individual herds, so that farmers can be better informed when buying cattle at auction. Developing a better risk-based approach. That means calculating more accurately if and how infection might spread from certain areas, and then choosing the most suitable combination of control methods. And reviewing the ways in which bovine TB controls are governed, delivered and funded. We want to hear your views. Help contribute to the development of this new strategy 
by letting us know what you think.